Here's how to install an inexpensive cistern pre-filter for your downspouts. There's a removable tray to empty out the debris. This is an aluminum downspout debris filter. And to start installing, you're going to first want to loosen all the brackets on the downspout, especially on the lower part of the spouting. This will free up the downspout to allow a more easily accessible uh, spout to cut. And here we're measuring from the screen to the bottom of the filter. And in this case, it's four and a half inches. And... We're going to take that measurement and mark it on the downspout. So we're cutting out a four and a half inch section on the downspout. So we'll mark the top and the bottom. And when you're installing these, it's best to um, install them low on the spout. It, it just is more easy to access uh, for cleaning. And here I'm using a hacksaw to cut the downspout. This is an aluminum downspout. It's a three inch by four, four inch downspout, which is common if you have newer spouting. Um, if you have an older house where the gutters haven't been replaced in a while, you're probably gonna find that it's two inch by three inch downspouting. And if you have galvanized downspout instead of aluminum, you're gonna have a harder time cutting through it with the hacksaw. I think it's safe to say that it's time for a new blade for our hacksaw. Sometimes we'll use a sawzall to make the cut, but it's a little rougher. Uh, it really vibrates the downspout, and if you're trying to not pop it up out of the drop out at the top of the gutter, then you probably just want to use that hand hacksaw. And you can cut a downspout three quarters of the way and then bend it, and it will break very easily, especially aluminum, um, just like that. So we're gonna take that bottom section, put it back in our downspout adapter that goes into the drainage pipe that goes to the cistern. We're gonna angle it. And again, this is where it helps to have that downspout off of the bracket, because then you can pull the downspout out from the house, angle it in, and then push it back up against the house and tighten that bracket back onto the downspout to hold that upper section. So we're gonna take our quarter inch drive hex head bit and zip those quarter inch hex head screws back into the downspout, hold it nice and snug. And then we're gonna add some new screws that come with our debris filter and secure it to the top of the debris filter. We use a longer quarter inch drive screw and that allows us to anchor in the top uh, to secure it to that upper section. And then we'll get the shorter screws and anchor it into the bottom section of that downspout. And this honestly is almost in real time. This is a very quick install. Um, usually takes about 10 minutes at the most but it does take some finagling to get it nice and plumb uh, when you're all done. And of course, our cameraman was in my way, so it was hard for me to see uh, its plumbness. But um, I step back, make some fine adjustments, and it's about, uh, about complete. Then again, this is what it looks like when it's all done. It is a mosquito-proof screen, finer screen on top with a more uh, coarse screen on the bottom, and that clean-out tray to empty out any debris. It's a nice, simple filter, perfect for older cisterns with a lot of downspouts feeding the tank, and it's a nice budget-friendly filter for a more coarse pre-filtration for your cistern.